How's it going guys? Welcome to Ambrose Landscape YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Husqvarna 580 BTS backpack lower that Husqvarna sent us. Now, this is not the official review. This is only the first impressions video since we've only been using the blower for a few weeks now. So I want to talk about what I like and don't like about it so far. And then of course, once we put a lot more time into it, then we will have the final review. So let's go ahead and get started. Start intro. Throughout this video, as well as the full review video, there's going to be two main blowers that I'll be comparing the Husqvarna to. The first one is the Steel BR600, which has been my main go-to blower for the past seven years. And the second one is the Echo PB770T, which was sent to me from Echo a couple years ago. So if you guys are interested in watching either video, be sure to click the link up in the top right hand corner. So to start off, let's go ahead and talk about specs so we kind of know what we're dealing with in terms of the blower. So the engine is powered by a 75.6 cc engine with a 908 CFM airflow and the weight of 25.8 pounds dry. And of course, the price range that we're looking at for this blower is about $550, but of course, it can depend on where you buy it from and of course your dealer. I will leave a link to the Husqvarna website so you guys can see all of the specs of the blower down below in the description box. And do not worry, this is not an affiliate link. Start off with the pros, let's talk about the one thing that everyone knows about this blower, which is its power. So at 908 CFM, this thing definitely has enough power to do what you need it to do. Sadly, I haven't been able to try it in the fall season yet when the leaves start to come. But of course, after that, that's when we are going to do our full review of the blower. So I'm excited to use it then. But as of right now, with just our weekly property maintenance, this thing is highly capable of doing everything that I need it to do. Now, when it comes to the straps and the comfort of the backpack blower, I honestly have to say, I believe that this is probably one of the best on the market. Uh, the one thing that really sets this one apart from the other blowers is the chest and waist strap. And it's funny how something so simple like that can really help improve the comfort of the backpack blower on your back. Now with the size of the blower, it really feels like this thing hugs onto you because of those straps. So I will have to say Husqvarna did a great job choosing to use the chest and waist strap. It really does help quite a lot. Now there are some drawbacks with having so much power on your back, which is one, you're adding a little bit more weight compared to some of the other blowers on the market with less power. And then of course, two, you're using way more fuel. And I think sometimes with the, the weekly maintenance that we're doing, this is kind of overkill. So we're using a lot more fuel than what we actually typically need. But of course, like I said, with fall season coming around, uh, that's what I'm really looking forward to using this blower. Now the easy to see fuel tank is also one of my other favorite things I really like about the Husqvarna. Very similar to the Echo Batpick blower, which is right up in front, uh, easy to gauge how much fuel you have left. And this is one of the things I did not like about the Steel BR600 and still don't, is their fuel tanks, which is not as transparent, a little bit more hidden, so you're not able to see how much fuel is left in the Batpack blower. Moving on to the things I do not like about the Batpack blower, the first thing I want to mention is the trigger handle. Uh, this is one of the things that really threw me off at first and I'm not really quite sure why Husqvarna decided to go this route, but the trigger handle is a little off center from the tubing. To me personally, it's not the most comfortable thing and it doesn't feel like I have the most control over it. So I'm very curious to see the guys that have actually owned this blower for quite a while, what you guys thought about it. Now, while we're talking about the trigger handle, I also wanna mention the kill off switch. Uh, this thing is not my favorite. It's very similar to the Echo, which is basically you gotta click all the way up in order to turn it off. The reason why I'm not a big fan is because I do like Steel's way, which is like a spring-loaded kill switch where all you do is click it and it's done uh, because if you forget to click it down and then you go to start it, it's just one of those annoying things where it kind of still cut out that middleman, which is what I really, really like. Uh, but Husqvarna and Echo both have this kind of switch. So personally, me, I would rather see the spring-loaded kill switch rather than the click-up switch. Now, even though the backpack blower starts up really easily, the one thing I wish it did have is a step plate. This is one of the things I do actually really like about the steel and the Echo, it just makes the starting process a lot easier. With the Husqvarna, with how big it is, you're gonna have to hold down the air filter or hold down the whole machine while starting. Not really the worst thing, but of course, like I said, the set plate would actually make it a lot easier during the starting process. All right, guys, so, so far, those are my first impressions of the Husqvarna 580 BTS backpack blower. 
I think it's a great blower. There's a lot of great features I like about it. Of course, with every product that comes out, there's gonna be something you don't like about it. But I wanna see what you guys think of the video as well as the blower. So be sure to leave a comment down below of what you guys think. Be sure to take the survey up in the top right-hand corner about the blower and be sure to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping. Be on the lookout for that full review.